back again. Bachelor for life. And baby son. And baby son. We've got a Bradley Chimera. Balasong. With my favorite steel, 154 cm. G10 handles. It's a, kind of a green or an OD green. This uh, this one features like a the, the I think it's the copper or brass washers, not the plastic ones. Um, never had to tighten it. I've had it for just about six months. I play with it all the time. Don't cut a whole lot of stuff with it, but it did come very very sharp. Uh, what do you think? Maybe we cut some stuff. Let's get right into it. Yeah, we should try this. Little little paracord, little 550 cord. All right. Let's do some push cuts on the 550 cord. Do a little rocking motion. There it is. We've got something special coming after this one. We've got uh, Baby Son's first review. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm he's gonna. He's got a special knife that he's gonna be reviewing here shortly after this video. So you'll have to stay tuned after I get done cutting up all this paracord. That cuts pretty well. I think I think we've proved that we will cut the paracord. What Let's do cut? we'll do a little slice. Oh yeah, look at that. Cuts nice and easy. And then we're gonna do some of this after you're done doing that. Just like butter. What else we got? Got Dewalt. Got Dewalt trimmer cord. Well, thank you, kind sir. I'm going to have to use the vacuum after this. Oh, look at that. Sushi. Like, like I'm cutting hot dogs. Hot dogs, except it actually cuts faster than the normal. That cuts really easy. A thin blade. I kind of wanted to cut this one down to, I kind of wanted to sharpen this one up to a convex, but honestly, oh, it's no. it's like perfect the way it is. I found a paper. Oh, got a little paper. All right, we'll do some paper. Very yeah. sharp. It will it, cut. It will cut. I marked my balance on which is sad. Yeah, this thing out of the box was razor sharp. And we've got some cardboard here. And Dad, I don't feel safe with you without gloves. You don't feel safe without gloves? Just, I just, wanted to try something new. I'm living on the dangerous side. Please stop. Just, <laughs> please wear gloves. Well, it's all about it's all about keeping the knife away from your hands. Yes. Gloves. Th that was right there at your hand. Baby son, gloves are your last line of defense, not your first line of defense. Your first <laughs> line of defense is your mind. You have to know what you're doing, plan out what you're doing, and pay attention to what you're doing. Especially like these videos, we have to plan them out. <laughs> yeah, we should plan them out better. Instead, we just kind of roll with it. Um, <laughs> so, it does a pretty good job. you got to push kind of hard. I'm not really digging too deep into the wood, which is nice. Um, not really your typical box cutter. But it does have a really nice point. Let's do Baby Son's favorite test which is the Amazon box. I was gonna say stabby 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 we got the puncture test and then a the little drag cut there I was just putting an Amazon box just in case after that was a really good job puncturing we got our double walled wall like, cardboard wall. paper oh caught a little bit of that got stuck Let me fold this over it will cut, but if you double layer it, it'll make it so it cuts a bit bigger. Yeah, Dad, we have the cut out the vacuum. I'm making a mess tonight. Well, yep. it definitely cuts cardboard paper. What else you got for me? Anything? Uh, no, that's it. Let's try tripling up the. Let's try tripling up the. Uh, let's try tripling up the 550 cord. Alright, so we got three pieces of cord. Well, it 
cut that pretty easy. There's a lot of blade. Um, I believe, let's say this is decent length here. You can see that the actual cutting space, the sharp edge starts about here. You're looking at roughly three and a half, maybe just a hair over. Overall length, uh, overall length blade to handle and the tip of the handle there, just about nine inches um, closed. You're looking at from tip to butt, you're at five and a quarter. So, not too massive. Should fit in any standard uh, sheath. Or to be specific, pocket. The Bradley Chimera G10 handles, 154 cm. And that's all I have for today. Baby son, do you have anything? Like, share, comment, subscribe. And this, and this is Bachelor's for Life. Hello, this is Baby Son and Bachelor for Life. I have my Cold Steel FGX Bally Son. It's made of Givix. Gevex, I don't know how to pronounce it. Grivex plastic. It's not sharp, but it's point it's sharp on the edge. It's sharp on the edge and it has a tanto blade. And I'm gonna grab this. And I'm going to I'm going to... Dead. just showing you? you got to be in front of the camera. I'm going to try to pierce through this. you got to stay towards the middle. <laughs> Let's see if it'll puncture the... Let's see if it'll puncture this. Oh dear! Oh no! Well, it it did puncture. Let's see if it'll see if it'll cut. Like through the hole. Yeah, just hold it tight, right here, and then it cut. No, it won't cut. It won't cut, but it'll. See if it'll puncture the cardboard. All right. Well, it punctures, but it doesn't quite cut it. You gotta stay in here. That kind of tears it. Let me see that guy. It will puncture, but it doesn't cut as well as other cold steel knives just because it's made of pl plastic. That's a pretty sweet little trainer, though, buddy. Mm-hmm. That's why sometimes I'll, eat, I'll train with it. Because it's called the Bally Song, and I'm called Bambi Song. What else did you want to say about it? Anything? I mean, it's really good at flicking, like here. I hit my hand a little bit. But most of all, it will puncture. It will puncture. Anything else? Like, share, and comment. Subscribe. Bachelors for Life.